Hydra on the Orzim in the blue in the upper left, and we will have Mixu on the Ajari in the lower right. Both playing Karath, but different immortal selections. So this one's going to be pretty intriguing. All right, we do have a early development here. We have an expansion and looking for some early tech. So we got so we got Ether into potentially an expand here. It's been the, yeah. the usual opening here across the board. And again, we are we're looking to scrap here with these teapots. Not gonna pass into the night. Hydra there to micro get a little bit of damage onto that teapot, potentially eliminate that vision later in the game. And we have a northeastern expansion for Hydra. Yep, uh both players fast expanding it looks like a little bit there. Although, again, like I, my immortal knowledge is not like a, my strategic knowledge isn't exactly 100% right now. So this maybe not a fast expand, more of a normal expand, although neither of them have Legion Halls yet. So I guess technically you could call this a, a fast expand in in uh, RTS terms. Looking to get some moats out, potentially start getting some miners going, but I'm gonna go ahead and capture and take down some some teacup warfare over this little- Mortal Kombat! Da, 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 oh, da, 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 fatality. Da, da, da. And I will say, those two little auto attacks from that initial teapot scuffle that did not get traded back from Mitsu yeah. was the reason why that teacup dropped a little quickly. Oh, did I oh. say no Legion Hall? I meant no Legion Hall on the main base. There is a little bit of a forward Legion Hall next to this oh. uh, turret, actually, for Hydra. So not, not close enough to be a proxy, but definitely a forward Legion Hall. And that's going to help the uh, units get there a little bit quicker, maybe get a little bit more pyre control. Remains to be seen cool. uh, what Hydra's going to use these Antari for. I would imagine it's going to be a little bit of pyre control. Placement, we'll say. Yeah, yeah. You'd call that a forward building. Uh, not yeah. proxy, but forward, yeah. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and start teching into some developments there. Maybe get some resolvers Wait. moving into the middle of the map. What does Mixu have going on over there? Look at look at where the third is on the mini-map for... Uh, for for Hydra, I, there's a bunch of red there. There's a little bit. You're a legion all over there. The of the map. Okay, this... no, never mind. That's just a teapot and a and a pyre camp. Never mind. Oh, okay. I'm not I'm not good at reading the no. mini map yet, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say like I saw a little bit of a red splotch, but I guess yeah, they're gonna go ahead and set out the Got safari excited. into that uh, initial pyre camp, kite it back into the tower. Very smart, but we do have yeah. a teapot sitting. Hydra's teapot's hiding <laughs> in that pyre camp. But it has been scouted out, will get taken <laughs> down. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Timing, timing, timing. Okay, they pulled the Okay, very smart oh, yeah. pull pulled the pirate yep. camp a champion out of the the tower aggro so they didn't get a, a very late pirate claim for Hydra. But Hydra with a little bit of progressive play there, trying to get a little bit of a, a cheeky pirate snatch with the teapot. I I, I love it. I love that uh, you can sneak that pyre away, uh, if you're tricky about it. But yeah, Mixu not being uh not being deceived there. A little bit of Zentari versus Apari. So head to head, the Zentari are going to be a little bit more uh, durable. They will be able to win that one v one, but the Sapari are quicker, right? So you can escape, you can you can uh, strike and then move away. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a, a little bit of a, a little bit of this, a little bit of that in terms of that matchup overall. All right, looking like we have a little bit of progressive building here. Another Legion Hall going down here on this southwest expansion. And pushing out, it looks like we have some Dervish in development as well, trying to get some more AoE splash, as well as some movement on the map, a little bit of extra harass, trying to get a little bit more into the center stage here. And Zephyrs have been developed by Hydra. Yep. And Zephyrs were the flavor of the month for quite a bit, and you're you seeing it right here. Gonna go ahead and try to kite it out, but the Pyre Miner goes the way of Hydra. Yeah, we'll... got the uh, got the last hit on that one, and now that last Sapari on the run, but not gonna be able to escape. and. A little bit of a coup from Hydra there. Able to save that Pyre Miner. Not and bad. Saushin on the map for Mixu as well. Saushin going to be a great support unit to back up those Sapari. Again, we're looking at that jump ability. Those are going to be the ways that the Saushin turn the fight moving into the mid game. But the Zephyrs trying to make their mark here in the middle of the map. Kite in towards that, um, that enemy tower. Going to go ahead and take a little bit of chip damage. But will they be able to snipe out these Saushin before they get before they get caught up with their team? Yeah, you gotta. They they can be a little bit more vulnerable, so you kind of have to try to keep those Saushin safe here. Falling back right to back. the turret now. Just a lot of Ooh. posturing between each player. Just a lot of pyre control here. That is a little bit of a forward-facing turret, so I do like the the proactivity of Hydra to take this. Um, more aggressive turret placement will be able to kite in and around it at a DPS 
And of course, the hallowed ground can't be ignored. Micro coming out. Fraggle Prey looking very Mitsu strong for, for Hydra. Mixu using the Saoshin nice ability to get some extra healing. But again, the Micro won't quite be able to kite it down. The forces are too strong. And the Saoshin Safari combination will break down that Zentari and Zephyr combo. Nice bit of micro there from Mixu to get the surround on a couple of those units, pin them between the wall and the rest of uh, their units. Body blocked them a little bit so they can't get away. Oh, Speed Boost coming in. Uh, okay, just going to run over to the middle of the map instead. Hello, Teapot. Going to give it a little bit of harass, but Teapot's got, got those wheels rolling. We're going to get on out of there. Going to claim a Pyre Camp with this little bit of added pressure. And Pyre yep, Camp right. goes the way of Akshari. And it got a yeah. about a 25, looks like no 15 pyre lead. Those uh, pyre miners doing a lot of work for Hydra. And of course, also cannot be ignored. When you have those towers developed for Orzum, you do also get passive pyre gain. Almost like a, uh, a dumbed down uh, pyre miner, but will be able to increase those resources as the game goes on. That's a good point too. That's that's one of the one of the things that's nice about playing Orzum is that you can get in that position where you don't necessarily need to fight as hard for that pyre camp. You're not generating it very quickly, but you are generating some of that passively with the towers that you've got. Wow, aggression from Mixu, using that uh, Ajari to the utmost, right? Using the speed to get in there, harass the worker line, the moats on the run, and now look at all these dervishes and a couple of Zephyrs as well coming in from the bottom. Can they defend? The Hydra on the flank here, putting in a ton of AOE damage, those cones from the Dervish, putting in a lot of work. Deliver from Evil being cast. This, yeah. The shields are a little too bulky and won't be able to take down any more supply there. And of course, we do see the Absolvers also being developed by Hydra. So we will have that zone control to back up that AOE splash from the Dervish and Zephyrs. Yep, that's right. An Absolver on the side of Mixu as well, helping take that cut higher camp, but more importantly, helping defend against the counterattack. Oh man, that Absolver took a lot of damage though. From that pyre camp that's not not ideal but uh if you can defend it then uh and ring fit can keep you a bit safer here let's say Saoshin, down. gonna go ahead and get some extra health Power. and this looks oh like a, oh maybe a little bit of an aggressive all-in attempt here looking to be pushed back because did not expect the uh the double absolver here and of course we do have the uh heaven's ages here to go ahead and add some extra shields to bulk up that front line pushing them back and pillar basically hmm. expanded for nothing there that's a huge uh that is a pretty massive uh pyre investment just to get pushed back into your uh pushed up base here pushed up tower base here yeah that was a very aggressive pillar of the heavens from uh, hydra without really a lot of benefit too so i think maybe he thought he had a little bit more in terms of the numbers advantage than he did in the end uh you know, it's it's a it's definitely annoying, but it's not the end of the world per se. Not not yet. Didn't really lose much. Just didn't gain much either. Okay, now coming back in again. All right, All right and where are the defenses? Session. Where are the defenses? Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, pushing in a little right. bit, getting on this <laughs> initial expansion, the natural expansion here, and there is no way to combat this. It looks like they're going to go for a trade here. Look, the dervish is just going to leave. What? Hey, defend your home, homie. What are you doing? Yo. Okay. So. Hydra's in a little bit of trouble. You're finally going back to defend, trying to leave enough behind to take out the main building of the expansion, but it might not be enough as Mixu's forces are nearly back again. Meanwhile, oh, Mixu no. putting this pressure in at the expansion of Hydra. Now the army returns, and I don't think they're going to be able to take out the main building there either. You could expend some pyre but... to try to get them out. It looks like they're going to try to go for deliver for people, but maybe... Oh, no, they're just hard committing. Yeah, take out some moats, man. I mean... That's a that's a relatively small force. I think you might be able to sacrifice that. Meanwhile, more worker harass going on here. It, either way, even if you don't kill a ton of the workers, they're not spending time gathering resources. So that is still a, a resource loss as well, right? For a Hydra to have to deal with. It's annoying. Oh my right God, like got the moats. Shield's too big. Gets one Safari nice. out of there. And an Absolvers are running him down. Too GG. much pressure, Mixu. Absolutely running the map. Hydra, 1-1. One, one.